Dear friends, why did this lion come to roar at the Iranian president's grave every day? When the Iranian government opened the grave, everyone was left screaming. Astag firula. Dear viewers of Islamic streams, assalamu alaikum. Oh my God, what has happened? Every night at midnight, a terrifying sound would come from the grave of the Iranian president, Ibrahim Raisi, so frightening that the nearby residents would get scared. Once, a few young men spent the night in the cemetery to uncover the truth, only to be found unconscious in the morning. What was it that came to the graveyard, causing even strong young men to pass out? Friends, why was this happening with Ibrahim Raisi's grave? To know more, be sure to watch the video until the end. And if you're new to our channel, Islamic Streams, please subscribe to it. Click the bell icon to stay updated with all our new videos. Dear friends, ever since Ibrahim Raisi was buried, the locals around have been talking about strange things. They say that at night, when silence reigns everywhere, the sound of a dangerous animal roaring comes from the area where Ibrahim Raisi is buried. No one is allowed to go inside. On the first night when these sounds were heard, people thought it might be their imagination. But when the same sounds were heard on the second and third nights, many young people became curious to know who could come to roar at his grave. First of all, they asked the night guard, why are there roaring sounds of an animal from Ibrahim Raisi's grave at night? When they asked the guard, his face suddenly turned pale. He became very nervous and started shaking his head in denial. He said, I don't hear any such sounds. I don't know. The young men were surprised by his words. They thought, how is this possible? If only one person heard the sound, we could understand that maybe it was his imagination or a condition causing him to hear things at night. But we all heard the sounds. Our families heard them. The whole neighborhood is a witness that someone is roaring here at night as if a dangerous animal is growling, roaring and shouting. Hearing this, the guard pedaled his bicycle away. It was clear that he didn't want to answer the question. The young men were quite disturbed. During the day, when they went to the grave of Ibrahim Raisi with their other friends, the grave appeared perfectly fine upon close inspection. There was nothing suspicious about it. But as soon as they turned to leave, they saw strange footprints on the ground. They froze in their tracks. It seemed like someone had tried to erase the footprints, and by coincidence, one or two prints remained visible. The rest of the prints had been wiped away, perhaps by mistake. Seeing this made the young men even more curious. They decided they would uncover the mystery of who comes to Ibrahim Raisi's grave every night at 3 a.m. And whoever it is, it's certainly not human, because the roaring and growling sound resembles that of an animal, a dangerous one. But nothing could be said for sure, so the young men made a plan to spend the night in the cemetery and see who comes near the grave. But the biggest problem was that the guards outside didn't allow anyone near Ibrahim Raisi's grave at night. When the young men asked the same question to the guards that they had asked the watchman, the guards also avoided eye contact and said they didn't hear any sounds. But the panic on their faces indicated that there was definitely something going on. The issue was that no one was allowed inside at night and the young men were too curious to wait. They wanted to know the truth. So, dear friends, they found a sneaky way in. As soon as it struck 1 a.m., the young men went to the back of the cemetery, where there was a tall wall. No one could easily get inside by climbing over it, but with teamwork, they lifted the strongest of them, who then helped the others climb over. They hid behind a tree where it was pitch dark. As the night passed, they kept their eyes fixed on the grave, waiting to see who comes to roar at night. By morning, when the guards arrived at Ibrahim Raisi's grave, they found three young men unconscious. Seeing this, the guards became very worried and wondered how these young men got into the cemetery. Nonetheless, they took the boys out and handed them over to their families. The families were shocked and took them to the hospital. After several hours, they regained consciousness, but they were terrified. When asked about what scared them, one of the boys trembling said, We saw a lion roaring at Ibrahim Raisi's grave. It was growling and trying to dig up the grave with its claws. When their parents heard this, they didn't believe them. They said, How is this possible? The grave isn't in a jungle for a lion to come. How could a lion reach there in the city without anyone noticing? They thought the boys were mistaken, but the boy insisted that they saw a lion. 
This raised many strange questions in people's minds. How could a lion enter the graveyard unnoticed, especially with guards around? And if there really was a lion, everyone would see it. But it was also true that growling sounds were heard at night, resembling those of an animal. People became restless and started wondering what kind of animal was coming to Ibrahim Raisi's grave and why it came to growl at 3 a.m. Sometimes the sound was so loud that people got frightened, but it wasn't clear whether it was the sound of a lion. Out of the three young men, only one had claimed to see a lion. The other two remained silent. It was hard to understand how a lion could appear in the middle of a city at Ibrahim Raisi's grave and then disappear. No one else except these boys had seen the lion. People were now extremely curious about who or what was roaring at the grave at night and whether the boy really saw a lion. The next day, many people were present at the cemetery, but that night, no one showed up. People started thinking that the boy had lied. But what happened to that boy the next day was an unbelievable event. The boy had died, and the shocking part was that his body had deep scratches from a dangerous animal's claws. Seeing this, people were horrified. After that, the growling sounds started again. When people told Ibrahim Raisi's family about this, his wife revealed a shocking secret that left everyone in disbelief. She said, Those sounds are from jinn, because Ibrahim Raisi used to feed the jinn. After his death, they come to cry at his grave. Sometimes they appear as birds and sometimes as animals. Hearing this, everyone was astonished. How could a human feed jinn? Ibrahim Raisi's wife said he used to slaughter goats daily and leave them in an empty field known for having jinn to feed them. That's why after his death, the jinn appear at his grave in the form of a lion and roar in grief. It turned out that Ibrahim Raisi had a good relationship not only with humans but also with other creatures. Even in death, the jinn mourned him by coming to his grave as a lion and roaring. Along with humans, even the jinn was saddened by his death. May Allah grant him a place in paradise. Amin, O Lord of the worlds. Friends, if you can, write Amin in the comments. If you have anything to say about this, feel free to share. Don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. Before closing the video, make sure you've subscribed to our channel, Islamic Streams. We'll meet again in the next video. Of Allah, you are the provider, the sustainer, the one in whose hands are all the treasures of the heavens and the earth. I turn to you with full trust and hope, seeking your bounties, for you are the giver of all blessings. O oh Allah, grant me success in all my endeavors, in ways that are pleasing to you. Illuminate my path with your wisdom, and remove all obstacles from my way. Open the doors of opportunity, and make easy for me that which is difficult. Ya Allah, increase me in knowledge, understanding and strength, so that I may excel in all that I strive for.